Hi, I'm Katie from What Katie Did, and today I should be telling you about our Liz lingerie in white, but what I'm really going to tell you is the story about why we can't make our Liz lingerie in peach. And we have been asked quite quite frequently if we can if we can make it in peach. And to begin with, it seems like really really simple. Why can't you? Why can't we just make it in peach? But one of the things is when you start making, when you look into the manufacturing process, like the smallest things turn into the biggest dramas. So um, I shall now go into the story of to why, why we can't make it in peach and also the challenges we've had making it in white, which seem ridiculous from an outside point of view. But as, as I said just, just now, when you're actually making the stuff, um, thing, the, the littlest things cause the biggest problems. So first of all, why can't we make our Liz lingerie in peach? Well, our Liz lingerie is made in Nottingham in the UK and we make it in small runs and manufacturing in the UK really is, there, there really isn't a lot of money in there in it at all. All the money goes into basically keeping, keeping everything going so they don't have really new machines, um, but there's not a lot of investments. It's basically a minimum wage job and it's basically just keeping keeping everyone going. That that is the aim of the game. So basically, what I'm saying in the UK, there isn't very much cash to spare. Um, most of our lingerie is actually made in the factory in India, which we've been working with for 20 years now. And there, because wages are lower, there is a lot more investment in manufacturing. So um, we we can ask them to do more experimental things, which include dyeing our fabrics and trims trims to match and if you if you look at our glamour lingerie our harlow lingerie and some of our retro lingerie that's all made in our vintage peach and the elastics and trims are all dyed in india to match um, to match the vintage peach and even in india i mean the dyeing process dyeing is highly polluting and it is, it is highly um, restricted and governed so it's not you know it's not just a case of you being able to dye something to, to ma everything everything has to be very very restricted when it comes to dyeing the same with black i mean the elastics in india they're all made in the factory we work with everything is very made very very close to home and so you'd think that we'd be able to get everything to match and even in india when we can get everything dyed and we don't have to worry about minimum quantities all that so much because because we're only dealing with two colours, peach and black, we can wait until we've got a dye bath big enough to dye elastics or whatever uh, and get the whole lot done in one go. But this spring we were supposed to be doing a stretch um, satin range and if you, if you remember our satin, we've done it in variants of royal blue, we've done it in a stretch green, we've done it in two versions of pink but I've always wanted to do it in peach and we've managed to get the stretch fabric which we bought in and we just get the elastics dyed to match and I thought it'd be quite simple but when when the elastics came back they don't match at all and because of Covid everything was kind of put on hold and now now I'm looking at it again and it's a case of we're we're probably going to have to team it with black um, because even though the the elastics are are dyed to officially match because of the change in texture of the fabrics they really don't look that great together at all which is you know one of one of the things when you're trying to ma make everything match and and it doesn't the slightest variant really doesn't look very good at all and this leads on to where we are with Liz in the UK when last year we did make our icon range in the same factory as our Liz lingerie and icon was basically made to very similar patterns and that was we found the peach matte fabric that was great but in the end we had to team it with black and teaming it with black try it kind of you know the whole idea with peach is you can wear it under light colored clothing and it doesn't show so teaming it with black doesn't really help matters at all it doesn't really solve any issues and icon it, it looked cute but it didn't really sell that well so um Yes, we are a bit wary, or I'm a bit wary about doing peach and black again, but I do have some ideas. But move, moving on, moving back to Liz, um, so the idea of making Liz in peach in the UK is we simply can't get the elastics to match. We can't, um, 
the dye baths needed to, to dye the elastics because it's only a small amount. You know, the, the amount we need dyed isn't enough to, to, to do the dye bath. So, and even if we did the dye bath, it wouldn't necessarily match the fabric anyway. So it all gets very, very complicated. And so that's basically the short answer of why we can't make Liz in peach. And that's actually, I've just spoken about the, the main fabric and the, the elastics. I haven't spoken about the mesh, which we use for the top of the cups um, and the, the elastics we use inside the knickers or, and the bras. So this, all these, and the hooks and eyes, of course, because they, they, they come in white and you, you can get peach, but they won't match our peach. So it's all, the whole lot turns into a nightmare. Whereas you think, you know, just make it in peach and that's one thing you need. It's not, it's like 20 different things you need all in the same peach. And whereas in India, when we do peach year in, year out, we can afford to get it all dyed together with, um, with England, we, we really can't. And years ago, we have tried to skimp and get things dyed on the cheap. And let me tell you, it doesn't work. It's better to get everything um, done properly with our, with our um, components in, in India. Everything's nylon coated and nylon coated can be dyed or the rings. So you don't have to worry about paint chipping or anything like that, but it does get complicated. It's just so, so many different components. It, it's crazy. So that is the answer as to why we can't do Liz in peach um, in the UK. We, we could possibly do Liz in peach in India, but then because the, the Lycra fabric is made in Italy, we'd be shipping it from Italy to India. It still wouldn't match. We still have to get everything dyed and it just turns into you know, a bit of a nightmare. It's it's one of those things which would be we think would be simple, and and no, no, it isn't. So moving on, we decided to do Liz in white, and this, doing it in white would give you the option of wearing it under light colour clothing. Liz is one of our best-selling ranges. Um, it's made in the UK, and we want to continue manufacturing it in the UK because the factory know how to make it. They're quite happy making it for us. It's nice to have, you know, at least a couple sets which are made in the UK. And um, white is, you know, it's a classic, and it, it'll be simple to make because they've already made it, right? Well, so so you would think. Um, they made the samples for us, and we shot them on L model, and the bra didn't fit that great at all and we couldn't understand why and I when we were doing the shoot I was thinking oh my goodness something's gone wrong and I haven't noticed it and then we put the black one on and the black one fitted amazing and I couldn't work I couldn't work out why the black one was looking great and the white one wasn't looking so great one of the reasons was because the white samples were made during lockdown and they were made at home so they weren't the seamstresses didn't have access to um, every, everything they needed to make it perfectly. So that was that was the one, one reason. But the other reason is that the elastic band under the bra, the elastic was stretching more than with our Liz, with our black version. And this is an issue I've come up. And th this is definitely true. You're not going to believe me, but this is definitely true. And it is a big issue, is that when you dye black, because the black dye has, it uses a lot of dye and there's a lot of fixative in it, when it comes to elastic, a black elastic won't stretch as much as a white elastic. And the same with a power mesh. If you've got um, a pair of our black power mesh knickers, they won't stretch as much as a pair of our peach power mesh knickers simply because of the black dye. And last time when I was in India, we, were, we actually did all these scientific tests and were weighing all the fabrics to work out you know, how much stretch this fabric had compared with that fabric, even though it was made to exactly the same spec. And I know in the past um, we've made um, suspender belts from our sateen range again, that, you know, someone said, well, it should be the same pattern. You should have made it exactly the same. And the answer is, well, one, all lingerie is made by hand. So there's always going to be a, a tiny difference between each style. But secondly, the the navy, like a, a dark navy stretch satin, is going to stretch less than 
a light pink satin and it's just not possible to have you know different patterns depending on the different stretch of fabrics we managed to source the right white elastic for our bra from mole which is one of the what well, is the main elastic supplier to the trade in the uk now and they they managed to find us an elastic the only problem was that they only had like just under 500 meters left and so we took it all and we had it shipped to our factory in Nottingham and this was in mid-July and a couple of weeks ago I chased it up and they, the factory said to me, oh, we're still waiting for the elastic. And I'm like, well, as far as we're concerned, it was, you know, shipped and you, you should have got it. And it turns out that during the COVID mayhem, it had got completely lost. But mole were great, and even though their minimums are 2,000 metres, they, they made us another 500 and, and shipped that off to the factory, and they now have it, and they now um, are making the bras. The, of course, the, there's, there's always um, little things that, that, you know, are little irritants, like the, the white elastic is more expensive than the black elastic. And then the factory said to me that, um, they said, oh, we, we presume that you'll want the non-yellowing foam. Uh, because the bottom of the cups is, is lined in three millimeter foam and of course with a black bra we don't have to worry about any foam yellowing because it's black but um, with the white after time if you if you use a cheaper foam then it, it does yellow after time and because we want our lingerie to last and look pristine for as long as possible we we have to go for the more expensive foam of course for, for you um, we'll we are going to charge the same price but um, it's just these, these little things that you don't even think of. I mean, yeah, if we were really bound on price, then we would have used the cheaper elastic, we would have used the cheaper foam, but having, having seen the bra at a shoot and it not looking as good as the black one, I mean, there really was a visible difference. I really wanted to make it as good as possible for you because I'm sure, I'm sure you'll notice a difference as well. If you do have any questions about what Katie did or how, how we manufacture things behind the scenes, please get in touch. And in the meantime, please take care and I'll catch up with you soon.